Hey everybody, this is Jason Krauss here at Trinity Fitness Colorado Springs and I wanted to talk with you a little bit about lunging. So within our six primary movements, we have squat, hinge, lunge, and then push, pull, carry for upper body. Um, we've done quite a bit of squatting and resistance training and squatting. We've done a bit of hinging, obviously deadlifting, kettlebell swing, sumo dead high pull. Uh, lunging, we're, we're introducing quite a bit more into the programming, but I wouldn't say we've done a lot of resistance training, basically slowing the lunge down, learning to control, building strength around the joint when it comes to those things. So uh, we're gonna be doing a bit more of that in 2022. We're gonna be using split squats and Bulgarian split squats in order to help develop single leg control and strength around the joint and around lunging. So a, a couple reminders for you, when someone new comes into the gym and they're not able to perform a bodyweight lunge, some people can't get into this position very comfortably, where do we want to start them? Uh, the safest place to start somebody is in, even before putting you know, something in their hand and having them work on like step back lunges is really box step ups. Box step ups are a whole lot safer on the knees. They're a lot safer on the, um, on the ankles. And so I want you to think if somebody's coming in and they're struggling with lunges, they're struggling with the split squats that are programmed in the day, put them on a resistance controlled box step up. That could just be slow box step ups where they're stepping up and stepping back down. You could have them do it from the side and just step up and then step back down and step up and then step back down, right? And they could do that weighted, they could do it unweighted, where they're just trying to slow the movement down and control it, okay? Uh, from there, of course, you guys know the drill, you can do supported lunges, you could put a band around the rig and have them kind of hold on to the band, they can hold a set of rings in their hands. Uh, I, I believe as trainers, you guys have been through all of that before. What I wanted to share with you was the Bulgarian split squat. Now there's a great tutorial video that we're gonna send you that's eight minutes long that covers this thing in extreme detail. What I wanted to do today is go ahead and show you just the demo setup and execute for this movement, okay? So demo, when you're demoing the, the uh, movement, you could have a, a rig out in front of you just to kind of show a way of supporting this movement. Get a demo two. Okay, so set up for this movement. We're looking at the toe resting on a 12 inch or 16 inch box. I would not have somebody go above that for now. 12 inches or 16 inches, this is 12 inches, that should be sufficient. You're gonna place the back knee on the ground and that's key. A lot of uh, uh, faults happen when they try to set up in mid air. So set up with the back knee on the ground. For, uh, front shin should be almost vertical, at least that on setup. You can see that right now I've got a vertical torso and a vertical shin. The moment I go into execution, I'm gonna lean forward slightly. But for setup, back knee on the ground, toe resting on the box, you should be able to wiggle your toe, and then we want a vertical shin and a vertical torso. Execution, we're gonna lean forward slightly to weight my front heel. 90% of my weight is gonna be driven by this leg. I'm gonna drive through the heel till standing, and then I'm gonna lower myself back down control. You can see there's a slight forward lean to my torso and a slight forward knee lean to my knee, um, and then that this is back to that setup position, okay? So a couple faults with this is if you set up without putting your knee on the ground, and your foot is way up here, and you're trying to lunge, and I've got this extreme tension and pressure in my hip. Uh, so the cue for that, again, put your foot on the box, put your knee on the ground, set up with a vertical shin and a vertical torso. Um, the other fault that we often see is maybe that they're standing too narrow. So when they set up on that box, they're standing like this. And what we want them to do is have a little bit of space, about 10 to 12 inches uh, in between their legs. So if they set up too narrow, cue them to widen out their stance a little bit. And then the final one is probably just an extreme torso lean. So uh, you can be here, right? You can have this extreme lean uh, of the torso or of the shin, and that's really back to setup. Cue them with the proper setup, balancing slight lean of the torso, slight lean of the shin, driving through that front knee, okay? So that's your demo setup execute. Uh, we're also gonna attach the eight minute tutorial uh, by, by a doctor who's gone through this and he does a great job breaking down those faults and fixes in a, a more efficient way, all right? Two other things that I wanna make note of uh, is just how
how we can deal with any discomfort that people are having in this movement. Uh, some people might complain about not wanting their knee on the ground, in which case just getting a pad and having them set up with that knee on the pad, right? So you're still setting up vertical shin, vertical torso, slightly forward, but now they only have to come down to that pad. Some people might complain about the, the box and their foot um, just being a little bit uncomfortable. So you could also put that same ab mat up on top of the box and give their foot something a little bit more padded to rest on and then try that same movement up here. Uh, for those who just can't get into that extreme of an angle, you can also do this just on a lower platform. So take a 45 pound plate, put your toe standing up, setup is still the same, slight forward lean and up and back down. Many people might need to start there. It's gonna be a better position for them. They don't feel like their hip is being as, as stretched. And so those are a few scaling options for you as well. It's always good to know the why behind certain of these movements. So obviously, uh, just going back to the concept of slowing down motor control, we want to try to learn every movement uh, in a way that we can do it under a tempo. So in this movement, it's really easy to say, hey, we want a three second eccentric tempo. We want you to slow this movement down. Uh, and that motor control is established in those types of environments where we have a tempo control. So when we think of split squat, split lunge, being able to slow things down, um, you can let people know that that's really the reasoning behind this is we're developing motor control in the single leg movements by being able to focus on a single leg and even do them at tempo. Love you guys. Hope that you enjoyed these new weighted single leg movements, developing some motor control in the lunge movement.